Hennessy and Orange Crush. Let's give it a try. Apparently, y'all like Hennessy. We got some views on it, and now Will's making me try all the freaking Hennessy drinks. We're done when I say we're done. Now, I'm going to follow the recipe explicitly. If anybody has any trouble with these order of operations, not my fault. It says two ounces of Hennessy, then ice, and then six ounces of Orange Crush. I probably should have measured those six ounces, but we'll leave the measuring to professionals. We'll probably leave putting the top back on the professionals, too. That's a good drink. Those two go really well together. All of the kind of interesting fruity notes of Hennessy pair really well with the Orange Crush. I still get some of that kind of, what I describe as malty, it may not be maltiness. Whatever that flavor I get on all scotches, all Irish whiskeys, and Hennessy, I don't know what it is. Y'all let me know what that flavor is, but I don't like that flavor. I describe it as malt because I get it on all single malts. This is not exactly single malt. I don't know what that flavor is, but it cuts through the orange, takes away from it a little bit, but still, that's a pretty good use of Hennessy.